Hi everybody, welcome back to Janine's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my banana bread. This is the ultimate moist, delicious banana bread recipe and it never fails me. I make this all the time for my family and I hope you guys enjoy it. To the bowl, we're starting with a half a cup of butter. To that, we're adding a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. We're gonna cream all of that together until we get a nice smooth consistency. Once you're done, mash up four bananas till you get a nice paste. If you like a few lumps in there, there's no problem with that. Crack two eggs into a bowl and whisk them together. To your butter and sugar mixture, you're gonna add in all those mashed bananas. Mix the two together until well incorporated. So to the bowl, we're gonna add our two eggs that we just whisked up. Mix it up really well, and then you're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. It doesn't look that appealing right now, but trust me guys, this is gonna turn out delicious. Just wait. So we've got a bowl with one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour. And to that, we are adding a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. Incorporate your cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and salt into the flour really well, and then you're gonna add that to the bowl. Fold this in slowly. You don't wanna whisk it in, otherwise you're gonna get a really weird gluggy cake out of it. Fold this in nice and slowly until you see that there's no patches of flour. So I'm grabbing my trusty loaf pan that I've had for years and years. I have yet to have anything stick to the inside of this and I buttered it really well on the inside. I'm lining that with a piece of parchment paper that's fitted to the size of my loaf pan. Don't skip the parchment paper. It makes it really easy to take the cake out of the tin. Spread your mixture into the loaf pan and it's gonna go into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit 180 Celsius oven. You'll know when it's finished when you are able to insert a toothpick and it comes out clean from the center. And after 60 minutes, look how beautiful that is. I'm telling you guys, this recipe never fails me. Just use a knife to loosen up the sides and you'll see that the parchment paper helps it come right out. Leave that on a cooling rack until it's completely cooled down. So I added a little bit of cream cheese glaze to mine. Feel free to add anything you want to this recipe. You could add chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, walnuts, dried fruit, whatever you feel like adding. Go ahead and throw that in there. If you are adding chocolate chips, cut back on about a quarter cup of sugar just so it doesn't get too sweet. If you do end up making this recipe, please let me know in the comments how it turned out. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon.